Hello guys, Dan the Wolfman here, catchjitsu.com. Guys, thumbs up, share, subscribe, get down there, thumbs up, get in the comments, let me know. I'm doing random grab defense. Talking about random grab defense, how it has to be random, how it has to have pressure, how you have to be doing this no matter what martial art, and yet nobody is. Isn't that like they teach the self-defense and they don't do this? Random pressure testing, random grab defense. Yes, you have to do live randoi, live sparring, live grappling too. I have Lots of videos doing that around the world versus the best people for a very, very long time. The best people in the world, the best fighters in the world. So unlike all the uh, fake martial art YouTubers that got nothing, can't do anything, and badmouth stuff because they have no spinal structure, no attributes, no sensitivity, no base, no balance, no spatial relationships, uh, and spatial intelligence, you know, uh, twist his head there, break his structure, take him down. I don't care if you are a jujitsu black belt, if you're at a jujitsu school, uh, Aikido school, Sistema, Wing Chun, I don't care, Krav Maga, I don't care what you call it. If you're not doing it like this, you're doing it wrong. And if you're not doing it, you're doing it wrong. How are you a black belt? How do you have a school? How are you teaching things? I don't get it. You must look like this. And every style needs to be doing this. You need to be able to understand how to instinctively, intuitively react to any situation. I have faced multiple opponents. I have faced weapons. I have been in many self-defense real-world situations. I did bounce forever. Please listen to me. <sighs> You have to be able to flow from one technique to another. I don't know. I just bowling ball his head down. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how he's going to attack. If you got to do it paint by numbers and teach a couple techniques so students have something to build on, that's fine. Then demo going live. And if you can't do this, you're not a black belt. You're not a martial arts sensei. You're definitely not a sensei. If you are only so-so in one range of fighting in one particular small realm of one style, you have to be well-rounded in all ranges of combat. You have to be able to defend yourself in all ways. So the Aikido, Judo, Jiu-Jitsu people, where is this stuff? Hop Kido people, where you at? You got to do random grab defense. I have a uh, Dear Jiu-Jitsu instructors how to do a street Jiu-Jitsu old school uh, night at least once a week to hashtag keep jujitsu real. If you're not doing this, you're not keeping it real. What are you going to do when a few guys uh, surround you on the street to mug you or in a bar? Are you going to go to sitting guard and say, get in my good bro. Let me bear and bolo you. Huh? Come on, get real. This is what you need. This is what your students need. This is what your styles need. This is a big part, a big part. A big part that's lacking in all styles, even styles that claim they're all about grab defense. Aikido. Even if they're a uh, style that claims they teach this. Kamaga. Kimbo. Let's do defense 47 to attack number 23. Now, I do have 15 defense to the most common attacks. I teach in my four and a half hour combative street jiu-jitsu DVD that is very highly rated from people that of all levels and very high level people with really vast real world experience. Go read the views on BJJ Fanatics and EffectiveSelfDefense.com. I have to be able to flow. This guy here, first guy was a young Lurks and Gracie like invisible jujitsu, Aikido system. Do the things that I'm doing here, that I've done bouncing, that I've done for real. Okay? Levels of force up and down the. Don't blow this kind of thing off because, well, you just go to spur and grapple, man. Okay, blue belt, I can grapple, trust me. Okay? A lot of videos proving that against the best MMA fighters and other people in the world. Trained in all kinds of styles of martial arts. But the point is, I'm telling you, and you should listen from my real world experience, this is vitally important. If you look at this, this is a lot less static than anybody else. This is truly random grab defense. And sometimes he's occasionally surprising me by attempting to throw a strike or cocking his hand back. 
like someone might do, just a crazy or guy you said no, you wouldn't give him any money because he has $180 Nikes on. Don't support them either. And uh, you know what I'm talking about? Might just happen. Approaching your car, pay attention in transitional spaces. Watch the end of the video, guys. Look at all the techniques and the way I just flow. Keep my strong spinal structure. I keep my strong center. I keep my strong base. I let them get a little bit out of position, and I manipulate their body. You have to understand biomechanics and spatial relationships. Okay? Martial arts is physics and geometry. Got to know how to hit hard and do a lot. They say Aikido is 90% of Temi, meaning strikes. Ueshiba said that, 70% or 90%, depending on who's quoting them. So, you got to learn how to hit, too. You got to be able to spar. You got to be able to grapple. Again and again, I keep saying that. But look how I can just fold him and uh, sweep his leg out, sweep his base, use his Kazushi's momentum against him. I mean, look at the sensitivity I'm showing you have to develop. If you're not developing this and you're only learning the highest percentage sport techniques, oh, 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 I like it. Guess what? You're going to get your butt kicked. Maybe against a guy that sucks and has no attributes and he's not bigger, stronger, faster, younger. But if he is bigger, stronger, faster, younger, you'll probably get your butt kicked. And if there's multiple opponents, you're going to get your butt kicked. And if there's weapons, you'll get your butt kicked. And I know I've always go, gone home, even in uh, planned attacks against me with weapons and multiple attackers. Even when I've been surrounded by 10 guys trying to stop me when I was down. Even when I had guys trying to flank me that were going to pull knives on me. Confronted by a UFC fighter that turned out he's like, yo, I'm a coke dealer and I'm going to have these dudes stab me. I know you're a better grappler than me, but I'm bigger than you and I'm going to hold you on the ground. And they're going to stab you. Listen to my stories. as my Guys, you can do this as a warm up. Just do a couple minutes of live random grab defense. That's all you need to do is do two two minute rounds of live random grab defense. It's a good warm up before you do your live randori or sparring or whatever your I don't care for judo, jujitsu, whatever school you got. This is good towards the end of class and maybe just before the full on live grappling. Or maybe speed grappling after this, takedowns plus 15 seconds, working on your standing submissions and transitional submissions and getting right away to dominant control. And then you also do a couple of minutes of live grappling at the end. Let's make martial arts real. Let's make any style better. Let's pressure test. Let's do it. Please thumbs up, share. Guys, subscribe. And uh, got a little bit more here going now for my BJJ Fanatics Combatives of Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD. Some of it is low, uh, you know, low violence. Ikkyo pin him to the ground. Defending that double wrist lock, Kimurata, with a throwing double wrist lock, you know. Throat grab, taking him down. Oh, he had my wrist, so move around it. Let him have your arm. Joint independence, people. You don't understand concepts like taking space, holding your center. These fake tubers, stop listening to them. They don't know anything. They have no skill. They have no attributes. And if you call yourself a sensei or an instructor and you can't do this, stop. You should at least be able to do this. And if you can't do this one-on-one -on -one in live random grab defense, how are you going to do it against multiple opponents and real surprise attacks? So please thumbs up, share, subscribe, get in the comments. Which particular section of this did you really like? What have you never seen before? Have you liked my videos lately? What's going on in the martial arts community? And shouldn't everybody be doing this? Get real, folks. Kaboom.